Hey everybody, I'm Randy Weaver. I am the emergency medical technician on day shift in the medical department here at Rolls-Royce. Today I just wanted to talk to you about Rolls-Royce's policy regarding face coverings, in other words, masks. This guidance follows the CDC's guidelines. Because of that, the two main recommendations for preventing the spread of infection is to practice good hygiene and practice social distancing. The two best ways to accomplish this are to stay six feet away from others at all times. Now being at Rolls-Royce and some of the operations that are conducted here, that is not always possible. To practice good social hygiene, you should always wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, and to maintain six feet away from people at all times, if possible. If you cannot maintain that social distancing, then it's recommended that you wear a surgical mask. Surgical masks, by definition, are masks that tie behind the ears and go around your head. If the job that you do requires you to wear a respirator, you should continue to wear a respirator as a surgical mask will not filter out any aerosol or inhalants that you could encounter doing whatever job it is that you're required to do. So therefore, if you are required to wear a respirator, whether that is a full face or an N95 respirator, you should continue to do so. They are not for general use as those masks are to be saved. That way they can be used by healthcare professionals and first responders on the front lines. If you need it, use it. If you do not need it, it is recommended that you wear a surgical mask if you can not maintain six feet of social distancing. One of the things that you can do to best protect yourself is to avoid touching your face. That means keeping your hands away from your eyes, nose, and mouth, as this is one of the ways that bacteria can get into your body the easiest and cause infection. If you have trouble keeping your hands away from your face, I recommend putting them in your pockets because if they're in your pockets, you can't be touching your face. Most of us, most of us do this instinctively and we don't even think about it, but it is one of the best ways that we can make ourselves sick. first type of mask is a cloth mask. You've probably seen these on the news as they're getting very, very popular. These are do-it-yourself at-home masks, and if you want to make one or have any interest or anybody that is interested, you can find the directions on the CDC's guidelines online. To put these masks on, first you're going to take this bottom strap, go around your head and tie it. Then you'll take the top strap, go up over your ears and tie it behind your head. Once that is tight, you will pull the bottom down around your chin and pinch the metal nose piece to fit to your face. Tighten the mask up and you're good to go. These are surgical masks. These masks are recommended when you cannot maintain a six foot social distance away from other people. If you work in close proximity and need these, this is what is recommended. To put these on, each of the ear straps goes around your ears. You pull the mask up over your nose and around your chin and then pinch the nose piece. These N95 respirators are not recommended for personal use outside of the workplace and or healthcare. These masks are in critical shortage and we need to conserve them as best we can. These masks are only being given out if the job that you are doing absolutely requires it. If it does not, then these masks are not recommended. These masks are actually being given to frontline first responders and healthcare workers and they can barely get them so we need to preserve ours as best we can. To put these on, take the bottom strap over your head on the back of your neck and take the top strap and go up over your head behind your ears. Then pinch the nose and make sure that it's fitted around your face. These half mask respirators are used whenever you are working in an environment that you should not breathe whatever is in the air or you're creating particles that can harm your lungs. These are not recommended for personal use outside of the workplace. To put these on, first you take these straps and clip them behind your head. Then you'll pull this headpiece up over your head and tighten the straps down. Make sure that your canisters are pushed in. Once you've got your canisters in place and your mask is up around your mouth, you're going to do a seal check with both positive and negative pressure. So, 
In conclusion, the things that you can do to best protect yourself are to wash your hands frequently, avoid touching your face, and wearing a mask when you cannot maintain six feet of social distancing. If you need to wear a mask, make sure that you're wearing the right mask. And if you are not sure which mask you should be wearing, feel free to contact health and safety or medical and we will best direct you on what masks you should be wearing. So have a safe day and always use your hand sanitizer. Thank you.